Alright guys, so I just wanted to do a, a quick video. Uh, this is my wife's car. She has a GS350. Um, I don't know if you can see. If you can see, but there's like so many water spots. Um, I know I recorded the A7 before. But I wanted to show a video of this one because this one's way dirty. Uh, we went on vacation uh, for you know a couple of days. And so it was left outside in the sun. So it's like a lot of water spots, dirt. Um, so I'm gonna do it before and after. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's really, really, really bad. I mean, uh, so so far all I've done is sprayed the greaser on the rims and the and the tires. Um, just let it sit there for at least five minutes. So then that when I go, you know, when I rinse it or scrub it, it'll come off easy. All right, um, what I may be using today again would be my uh, nozzle with uh, soap dispenser, um, some wash mitts, uh, the Grits Garage Speed Shine for so I can use it with uh, with this, so I can use it with uh, um, Next Level Eagle One Surface Prep Mitt. So this is like my uh, cling. So I'm gonna be cling with these two, this, these two right here, the detailer, and then scrub with this. I'm gonna use my uh, my my polisher. Um, my polisher and I'm also going to be using this in the end so I can show you guys how, how good it looks and I'm using Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax and then uh, to wax um, with the polisher I'm going to be using this so I'm going to be spraying on here um, just this, I, I, use it, I use this just to apply I don't, I don't use this to take it off so I use this to apply and the microfiber cloth to remove um, so that's all I'm going to be using today um, so first um, I'm going to use my I'm gonna use this to to rinse off the dirt, and then I'm gonna there's a there's a switch on and you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. So you basically uh, move it uh, clockwise, um, so it can mix with the soap, and it, it sprays pretty good. Um, let's see here, I don't know why it's blurry. There you go. So uh, I, I use the soap, and as the so as uh, as the soap is coming out, um, you know, with force, um, I use my wash mitt to you know scrub next to it, um, and then then I'll rinse again with this, and then um, I'm gonna apply the I'm gonna apply the detailer with the the prep mitt, and then I'm gonna use this one more time, but I'm not gonna scrub this time. I'm just gonna rinse, and then mix, and just let the soap, and then rinse one more time. Should take me like five minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wax and then remove wax, and that's all I'm gonna be doing today. It takes me like an hour, maybe a little bit less than an hour. Okay, also, real quick, um, I use the McGuire's wash and wax. I put a um, 90 cc's, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on one second, there you go. So, I use 90 cc's of liquid. Um, once, once this container once this container is fully uh, mixed with water, or you can tell that it's all water, no soap, um, that's when I know I'm done. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin. All right, so this is the uh, first wash. Um, I didn't dry it all the way because I'm gonna apply a detailer anyway uh, with the prep mitt, which is kind of like we're gonna, we're gonna clay the car right now. So it looks pretty clean, um, however, it's not as smooth as, as you know I want it to be, just because you could tell there's a lot of contaminants. Uh, my wife washes, or, or well, I wash my wife's car less than I do on my Audi, so that's why you can kind of tell the difference um, as far as how easy it is to to uh, clay the car or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, park inside the shade, um, so that way I can go ahead and uh, start prepping it. So, so this is what I'm going to use right now. I'm going to spray. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, so you basically spray. And then you use a prep mitt to go over it. Just so you can uh, kind of scrub off all the contaminants that you can't with the, with the, with the wash mitt. Alright guys, so here's the prep mitt. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I sprayed a little bit of detailer. So what we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and scrub, and you want to work in uh, like different panels. So right now I'm going to do the hood. We're going to do the hood, and then um, 
and then the, the, the left side quarter panel, front quarter panel, like that. So a little panel so that way you know when you're done so you don't want to keep scrubbing the same areas too many times. So all I did is I sprayed a, a couple of mist. Um, this is my second time going around just because you can tell she has a lot of stuff on her head. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can, you can see it. I know it's kind of dark. There you go. So I normally put my hand just doesn't fall on the floor. Uh, and then, um, but yeah, there's a lot of detail. And I sprayed some on my mitt too, so it's kind of soaked. It's just kind of like, kind of like you're drying it. Okay, guys. Um, so I've already done. I just wanted to show you. Um, with the wash mitt, not everything is all. Uh, not everything is cool and gravy. Sometimes if you, uh, like if you don't apply enough detailer, you get the little rubber mark, but it's really easy to come off. But I just wanted to show you guys. So just make sure that it's, it's, um, you know, it's pretty moist on the, on the glove and on the, the surface itself. So you don't get marks like that. Uh, Cause it's pretty easy to come off. You could use a microfiber cloth, but it's just annoying to have them in places you can't get them off. So I'm already done, so um, I'm actually going to show you guys how, how easy it is to wash with the hose and the nozzle. So give me one second. Perfect. So I'm going to show you. So um, I opened it up and added more uh, soap. Uh, but this time I only put 50 cc's or uh, one and a half ounces of the soap. So, so right now basically this is on water. Like so. so we can kind of rinse it off but right now we want to actually wash it um, like I said I don't need to scrub it I don't need to scrub it right now so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just use the, the thing by itself but I do want to kind of scrub this there you go okay so I want to show you so basically I'm gonna attach it to mix there you go it's mixing so you can tell right there. So I know we're just gonna wash it with soap. Let's see. So basically, this is kind of like we're using the pressure to clean it. Pressure washing, kind of. And I take away all the 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 surface debris that we took off with the with the prep mitt or or clean as you call it. You can kind of tell the dirt on it on coming off even though it looked like it was clean. Let's see. Put some on the tires since we're here already. Alright, we're going to need to wash the windows that much. Use the soap to rinse off the excess. Right now, after this, we're gonna dry it. We're gonna dry it, and uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the wax. And then that beeping is because I left the keys inside, and it's it thinks that I'm trying to lock the car because of the water. Okay. Uh, now, so let me go ahead and finish this. So basically, it's pretty simple. After you apply the soap, you can just uh, switch the nozzle to water and rinse it off. And it's like if you wash the car one more time. That's why it's really, really effective tool to use this nozzle with the soap dispenser. Um, and I myself bought this at Harbor Freight, or you can buy it at Amazon. But Harbor Freight has it for $9.99, so pretty good price. All right, so this is the outcome of the claying slash prepping uh, the paint for wax. Um, and you can tell, but. It's like already smooth. You can kind of tell there's not a lot of contaminants. Um, besides, you know, the dust coming down right now, and the dirt. But um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty clean. But we can't leave it like that just because it, it'll be susceptible to uh, to more dirt and more. So we gotta wax it so that way it at least be protected. You know, for a week or so until we wash it again. Um, normally, you wanna. Wax, I don't know, maybe once a month, maybe every other month. It depends on your liking. I like to do it once a month at least if I get a chance. If not, uh, I'll skip a month or so. 
but at least wash it once a week or once every other week depending on how dirty it is. Um, right now we're already in September and so the the weather with the weather conditions it's pretty it's pretty easy to wash it every other week so so right now I'm gonna park it back in the shade again and uh, go ahead and uh, wax it and then remove the wax and then that's it and then we're done for the day so all right so I went ahead and got the cloth on the on polisher um, so normally what I like to do is obviously you know this is the one I use so shake it a lot so I'm gonna do this panel just real quick for you guys um, just because I don't have my GoPro with me I've had some uh, technical difficulties um, this morning with it so I'm just using my phone um, but yeah I'm just gonna go panel by panel I'm gonna start from the I'm gonna start from the right side go all the way that way and then just kind of go around and come back this way and then by the time I'm done I'll start drying this this area that I started with so so try to be kind of conservative on the wax just because you're you're applying with the polisher so what I like to do is I'll uh, turn it on for a second and let it spin while it's spinning I'll apply some wax like that evenly okay and then just make sure that you don't splash everywhere so I start by uh, kind of like spinning it on the, on, the, on the see like that and then from there I'll just, I'll just spin it Make sure you're kind of making it kind of dull. You can kind of tell it's not shiny. That's when I apply it. That's when the wax is applied. Um, this wax is really, really synthetic, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So you can't, you can't really tell that it's on there like my, the other waxes that I have. But I like to use it a lot. There you go. So pretty smooth. Just make sure you're applying it on there. Kind of like sunscreen. And then uh, see if you can tell. So this is um. So you can kind of see it's kind of flat. And then right here you can tell there's no wax. So on these areas, make sure you don't touch um. You know your land, your tail lights or your headlights, just because. I don't know. After a while, it starts the sun burns into it. So I like to um, use the little cloth, the little um, the little sponge-like thing they give me um, for the edges and then like the the creases. Um, so I don't use a polisher for that. I just use a polisher for the big areas because it's kind of sucks to apply it with by hand. Um, but yeah, you can you can kind of you can kind of tell it's on there. You don't have to apply too much. See if you can tell. See, yeah, you can tell right here. There's a shine, and there's no shine over here. So I'm just gonna go over it um, one more time, and then go all the way around. And then I'm gonna use the microfiber cloth to remove it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the end result. All right, guys. So I'm done waxing. I use the. I use the. Um, the polisher pad that it came with to apply the wax. You can kind of see, like I said, it um, it kind of doesn't haze too much because it's a it's a synthetic wax. So right here you can kind of tell more. But yeah, with the with the uh, polisher, the or the buffer, it uh, it applies it evenly as long as you're uniformed when you're applying it. So I applied the wax right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove it with the microfiber cloth. You can't really tell. You can't really see a lot of shine because the wax is applied. All right, I'm almost done. So I should be like maybe five more minutes, and I'm done. All right, so I'm done. Um, so I use this. Um, I've been using this for a while, and I love it. It's called Armorall Outlast Tire Glaze. Um, I bought many different ones. This one's kind of pricey, but it's definitely worth, um, you know, worth the money. Uh, it lasts, man, like at least three or four washes, which means like two or three months. Um, and it, there is absolutely um, no sling for sure. Um, the only, the only, uh, the only like dirt you get here is from the dirt, not from the actual tire, um, tire gel or tire glaze. So, um, but it's by far my favorite. Um, I haven't had it, I hadn't put it in a long time, so I went ahead and added it right now. 
Um, one thing I, I, I would recommend with this is um, I, uh, I read the instructions kind of late, but um, try not to shake it too much um, just because it kind of clogs up the, the pore or the nozzle. Um, and every time you use it, kind of like you're supposed to, like once you spray it, you turn it upside down and you spray it until it kind of clears out and then you cap it. Um, so don't shake it. That was my mistake. I had to go return one of the like two months ago just because the, the nozzle stopped working and it was weird because I only had two tires that were shiny the other two were like really flat so they're kind of weird but uh, yeah so that's my only recommendation other than that this the product is really good um, so this is the overall end result from the waxing um, I don't know if you can tell but it's like super like super shiny let's see if you can tell right there but yeah, it's, it's really good. It came out like better than when we bought it. Um, let's see. It's just really bright out here. I don't know my focus. So as you can tell, the tire as well. Oh, you can't really tell, but yeah, they're really... The wheels look really good with that glaze. Oh, let's see if you can tell on top. It's like silky smooth. Which is better, which is basically better than what I could say when I bought it. It wasn't as good. Um, so a lot of people ask me, um, a lot of people ask me like, "Oh yeah, but you always take care of your cars, but it's because they're expensive." But if you look back on my YouTube videos, I had a Honda Accord and a Jeep. So no matter what car I had, I always did the same thing. I always took care of it, took care of the paint, um, just because you know I've always been a, a car enthusiast. So. But anyway, so this is my wife's car. Um, she has a lot of misperfections in the paint, and especially in the front, just because of the, the tree sap and stuff. But you can't really tell because, you know, I already waxed it and stuff. Um, the one thing I do need to do on her car is um, I do need to uh, buff it out, buff out the, the front at least because there's a lot of, you know, um, tree sap and stuff that is burnt in the paint. So I have to kind of... But you can't really tell now that I that I waxed that I basically prepped it and waxed it. Uh, but yeah, this is my wife's car. Um, I told her I would take care of it just because it was really bad conditions. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just comment. And if uh, if I have the comment disabled, then um, then yeah, just uh, everything I've used is basically on YouTube already. As far as the prep mitt, how to use it, also the wax and the buffer, how to use it. So I don't want to have to be redundant and, you know, make another video of everything that's already out there. I just wanted to show you what I use and, you know, um, you can't really tell um, unless you're here. But the, it's like super like glossy, like you know, they they just finished painting it. Um, when I had my blue Accord, um, that's when you could really tell the difference between when it was pre-wax and after um, but in this car you can't really tell that much but unless you're like you know unless you're driving next to it or, or you see it in the street then you can tell it's it's been fully detailed or fully waxed with synthetic wax all right so there you go this is the end result